Well, family involvement is important because when parents become involved, they can start to understand a little better what's going on in schools. Um, and when I say parents, it might be parents, it could be grandparents, it could be another person who's responsible for that child's uh, education. And as they get more involved and they start collaborating with the school, they're going to get more comfortable asking questions, they're going to get comfortable more and gain a little more confidence in uh, taking part in making decisions on behalf of their child. So every year really is a fresh start. So in some ways, you do have to understand a little bit about what's happened last year, but it's also really important to sort of leave that behind, especially if maybe it was troublesome. So it's important to think of every year as an opportunity to build that new relationship. There may be some of the players that are the same, but every year you're starting with a new teacher, so you want to start off with uh, a good communication plan. One of the first things you can do is go to the teacher meet and greet. These are often held either be right before school starts or sometimes within the first few weeks, and you can get to know the teacher and learn a little bit about the classroom that really she's going to be explaining or he's going to be explaining for all the students. But it's also important that you develop a plan to let them know specifics about your child. So that can either be uh, through an email and you're talking about their strengths and weaknesses, or it could also be a one-page sheet um, where you maybe include a picture, some of their strengths and weaknesses, maybe some of the things they like, some of their triggers. Just a way for the teacher to get to know what your students' uh, both strengths and needs are. Having a communication plan is really important, and there's two pieces to that. One, you need to know how to reach the teacher. Do they want emails? Do they want phone calls? What time of day works best for them? What's their typical turnaround so that you know how long they're going to take to get back to you? But they also need that same information for you, and they may even want to know what do you want to be contacted about. Some parents don't want to be contacted unless there's a big problem. Other parents want little updates on how things are going. So just as important as you having their information is them having your information. We've said this a lot, communication is really key. And having that open communication is really what's going to make the difference. Any time that you feel like that there's maybe a stress point happening, your child is not doing well, it's really important to start asking questions, seeking clarification, getting more information. Um, that can happen through email. But sometimes it really needs a meeting um, where you maybe hear a little more about what's going on in the classroom and hear a little more about what the teacher's concerns are, but also where you can share your concerns. A lot of times we get information home from our kids, or maybe we get a homework assignment home that we don't understand, or we get a report that's not good. And uh, it's easy to maybe assume the worst or not understand what's going on. It's really important that you ask questions. So the other important thing is to look at emails, both the ones you receive and the ones you send. Sometimes we can misunderstand something that's said in an email, or we might read tone where there wasn't any tone. So always try to assume that there's no tone intended. Um, but that also goes for your emails. Uh, sometimes we have a 72-hour rule where we'll say, maybe sit on this email for 72 hours. 72 hours is going to seem like an eternity, even overnight. Another really important thing is finding out how you can get involved in school. It might be going to the back to school picnic. It might be volunteering either in the classroom if your teacher has those opportunity or elsewhere in the school. It might be going to some PTA meetings or even um, a special education PTA meeting to start to understand more about what's going on in school. Um, it's really important to find those ways to, to get connected that aren't just about your child. If you have any questions, you can also give us a call. We do have people who can talk on the phone with you, talk through the issues, maybe help you prioritize what things you want to ask about first. At the end of the day, you are your child's best advocate, and you, know, you need to be the one making those calls to schools. And through um, sticking with it, you're going to make progress, and that's going to help your child make progress. <laughs>